constituencies over a period of 25 days and today belong to this constituency we want to thank all those who made us feel so welcome make us feel so at home make us feel so loved in your community I want you to give yourself a big round of applause for that. taking a very important message around Dominica because as we have studied what has happened to us in recent years and as we look ahead to the future as we listen to the cries and the concerns of the people of Dominica it has come to us that there is no greater priority that any party in government can have than providing jobs for the people of Dominica. Especially the young people of Dominica. And so, we have made the creation of jobs our number one priority for action coming into the government of Dominica. Look at the back of the bus. The story is told. 5,000 new jobs in the first three years of a United Workers Party administration. And our message to you tonight is that together we will deliver a new economy that is growing at a rate of six to seven percent per year and which the drivers of that economy, the agriculture, the tourism, the manufacturing, the information communication technology, the financial services, the construction sector, the water industry, the renewable energy, the sports industry and the cultural industry will all be handled in a professional, competent, efficient manner that will allow us to deliver on this promise. When we started talking about jobs, we did not hide. We did not go into hiding. We did not say anything in secret. After our team of economists had met and looked at what the possibilities were, we went to the Fort Young Hotel on the 31st of October 2013 and hosted there a jobs and economic growth forum. We believe that the economy must become bigger and better so that it can deliver jobs as opposed to losing jobs, which has been the story of our lives over the past 14 years in Dominica. And so, on the 31st of October, we not only presented our vision for a better Dominica that is delivering jobs as opposed to losing jobs, we also listened to the stakeholders and the people directly involved in job creation in Dominica the Dominica Association of Industry and Commerce, the Dominica Manufacturers Association, the Dominica Agricultural Producers and Exporters. We heard as well from the construction sector, the Dominica Hotel Tourism Association as well. The purpose of sitting down with these key stakeholders was to send out a clear message that our government does not intend to work alone. We are going to work with the people of Dominica in a way that you have never seen any government work with the people of Dominica before for the good and the public interest of the Commonwealth of Dominica. So they have started asking us 
Where are we going to find the 5,000 new jobs in three years? I understand the question and I appreciate the question. I'll tell you why. If you have spent 14 years in government and not delivered a single job, do you believe you're capable of understanding how a professional, competent team of patriots can create 5,000 in three years? Good question. Huh? No way. Ah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Out to lunch. And I learned something tonight in Portsmouth. I learned something tonight. A wise man in Portsmouth shared with me this evening. He said, you know, there is a lot of talk about things being bad all around the world and how are you going to do what you say you're going to do. Listen to me, young man. That's what the man told me. He said, listen to me carefully. We put two boats in the water. Two boats. They're the same size, they're the same weight. One of these boats is going to make it across to the destination. Marigaland, wherever. Another one is not going to make it. The wind is going to push it back. It's going to have trouble with the wind and it's not going to make progress. But the other one will be able to find its way through the wind and get to the destination. What is the difference between the two boats? The wise man told me the difference is the captain. The difference is the captain. And if you have captained the ship for 14 years and you have not learned how to navigate the wind, all you have learned is to sit on that boat and steal all you can. You cannot understand how the other boat will go forward and get to the destination of 5,000 jobs in three years of the United Workers Party government. And if under your watch, major companies like Dominica Coconut Products and Lime have downsized, leaving many workers out of jobs, and Clare Harbour has been downsizing. And if under your watch, if under your watch, we have seen the exit of companies like the Refresh Company that used to produce liquids, dishwashing liquids, the factory that used to produce Colgate toothpaste. If you have lost the Coca-Cola factory, Juicy factory, the Winera Cardboard factory, Paul's Plastics, Paul's Pastoroni, if you have loved the Castaways Hotel, the Lyre River Hotel, the Cicero Hotel, the Ariel Tram, KFC in Portsmouth, Rituals, Breezy Mart, you name it, go down the line. Check the number of jobs that have disappeared with all of those companies that have gone in the last 14 years. And tell me whether this government is serious about job creation. All that has happened to Dominique in the last 14 years is that we have lost jobs. So now, you have to ask yourself, is this a government that likes Dominicans to work? Jobs are disappearing. The government is building a stadium. Chinese are employed. Jobs are disappearing. The government is building the West Coast Road. Chinese are employed. Jobs are disappearing. The government is building a state palace. Chinese are employed. Jobs are disappearing. The government gives young men across the country the job to clean the side of the road with their brush cutters. Months pass, they cannot get their money. Jobs are disappearing. The truckers are working on the road from Pocasset to Melville Hall. Five months have gone by, they cannot get paid. The bank is reclaiming their trucks and their possessions at home. And the government owes them projects, money on a government project. Is this a government that likes Dominicans to work? No. So how can that government understand when the United Workers Party 
is talking directly to the people around Dominica now about putting Dominica back to work. And if we don't put Dominica back to work, our country will gallop to hell in a handbasket. It is as simple as that. We spoke for years about the marina facility in the beautiful natural harbor of Portsmouth. 2007, Yvonne Nassif, Nassif told us that they were going to do this marina. And they were going to develop a yachting industry around the marina. Years later, the yachts continue to come and go. Portsmouth is the most popular place in Dominica for these yachts. But we still have not developed the infrastructure to allow the owners of these yachts to feel that their boats will be better taken care of here, they will have better facilities available, and they will encourage their friends who own yachts as well to come into a proper facility. So everywhere you turn, the government is selling the country short and it is selling the people of Portsmouth short. Understand that your agriculture is worse because you're not selling as much as you should. In some cases you're selling nothing and the story as we go around Dominica is the story of abandoned fields, neglected fields, hopelessness among farmers who once upon a time knew what it was for money to meet money. Some of them told me, not only was money meeting money, but they were lying down and sleeping on money because it's in the mattress they used to work. Today, the bills, the monthly bills are more than the income. And everybody is suffering. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't come here tonight to talk about a red Dominica or a blue Dominica a Labour Party Dominica or United Workers Party Dominica. I came here to talk about the Commonwealth of Dominica, the Commonwealth of Portsmouth, the wealth of this part of the country that must be equally shared by the people in this part of the country, and the wealth of Dominica that must be equally distributed among the people of Dominica in a fair manner, so that people get what they deserve. That's true. It cannot be that when you work for the government, you cannot get paid. But the government is using millions of dollars to buy votes by giving people who don't work money.